Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, today I have a hot sauce that I'm going to be reviewing. Uh, this is really for Dana Romero and the World Hot Sauce Awards. And they were held recently in Lafayette, Louisiana. Now this particular sauce I'm going to be reviewing uh, for you guys today is a first place winner in the hot sauce medium category at those awards. And this is the uh, High Octane Sauce Company's Anibus Chariot. And uh, check out that cool looking label. Uh, really, really cool artwork. Nicely done. Just a really great job. Once again, this is called the Anibus Chariot. Now, this is Kevin Billings' company, High Octane Sauce Company. He's got fantastic sounding products. Actually, this is the very first sauce that I've ever had from the High Octane Sauce Company, but I've heard a lot of good things about all of their sauces, and especially this one. And he's located in Katy, Texas, uh, which is just outside the Houston area. Now, they say on the website here, this is their spin on an Egyptian shada sauce. Now, I just love unique sauces like that, like a harissa sauce or a shada sauce. Just love that kind of stuff. And he says, we blend parsley, cilantro, tomato paste, red jalapeno, serrano chilies, habaneros, garlic, cardamom, cumin, and maruga scorpion, along with other items, to make this bold flavored sauce. This sauce is uh, good on just about anything so much it should be sin now I've opened this up already I've tried this on a rice and pasta chicken and broccoli dish and it was just really really good amazing flavor now on the side here it says a classic Egyptian shot of sauce revved up with habaneros and one of the hottest peppers on earth the maruga scorpion and the ingredients on the side they list parsley cilantro Water, chilies, cider vinegar, tomato paste, maruga scorpion, spices, sugar, and salt. All right, very low in sodium, only 58 milligrams if I'm reading that right. But uh, just a beautiful color on this, guys. Check that out. Doesn't that look good? You can actually see the herbs in there, the parsley and the cilantro, I believe. Gorgeous looking color. I love the consistency on this. But uh, I'm telling you guys, when you smell this stuff, wow, this stuff is just beautiful. Parsley, cilantro up front, which is just beautiful. It has a great aroma on it. Oh, I love that smell, the parsley and the cilantro. Not too strong, but it they are present. Kind of a tomatoey smell after that. Does it smell vinegary? I believe you could pick up just a little bit on the peppers, the habaneros a little bit. But wow, it has a really great aroma on it. Well, let's go ahead and get this thing on a spoon for you guys. Now, this is where it really gets good. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I think I put a little bit too much. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. So perfectly blended. It is amazing. Fantastic flavor on this stuff. Taste the parsley. Taste the cilantro. You taste that tomatoey kind of flavor a little bit. Get the peppers. Get the garlic. Um, it is just really, really good. Amazing flavor. Very well done. It's not too strong in cilantro. You didn't overdo the herbs. And you certainly didn't overdo the, the spices. You know, the richness is going to come from the cardamom and the cumin. Blended very, very well. Very, very good. Awesome flavor on this stuff. Just can't say enough about it. But what I've got to put this on, this stuff is just going to be good on anything. Pizza, burgers, tacos, burritos, spaghetti. I think because of the tomato base, the garlic, the parsley, and the um, cilantro in here, I think it, it lends itself well to Mexican food, to Italian food. Uh, really, just any type of food. Uh, but let's go ahead and check this out on some shrimp. And this is just a uh, Parmesan crusted uh, shrimp. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. Now, my friend David Gunn of the Feisty Parrot um, Hot Sauce Company, 
he said this stuff is awesome on oysters, and I believe that really, really would be good. Um, fabulous stuff, awesome, highly recommended. Uh, I'm giving this a strong 9 out of 10 for flavor. It's that good, guys. You need to get some of this. And on heat, for something that's using the Maruga Scorpion and Habaneros, uh, I really think this is a D for everybody. It's going to be a little bit spicy for the average person. But for chili heads, uh, um, low medium heat, uh, a little bit less than medium for me. I've had enough of it, too. You get just a slight, slight burn, but very mild, very nicely done to include super hot in here, and yet um, not make it so crazy hot that you really can't enjoy the flavor. I think if you made this stuff too hot, it's just going to, you wouldn't be able to enjoy how good this stuff is if it had too strong a burn on it. Uh, so on my, um, on my uh, 1 to 10 scale, I'm thinking 3 or 4. Um, but I will just go with a... Uh, I'll go with a 4 out of 10 on heat for this one. Um, high Octane Sauce Company's Anibus Chariot. But 9 out of 10 for flavor. Great job, Kevin. Uh, awesome creation here. Highly recommended, everybody. So uh, make sure you check this sauce out at uh, the High Octane Sauce Company on Facebook. And the website simply is highoctanesauce.com. Yeah, High Octane Sauce Co. Com. Got to get that right. And Dana Romero, uh, thank you very much for sending it. I appreciate it. And everybody, check out the World Hot Sauce Awards on Facebook. Make sure you like that page so you can uh, stay up to date with all what's going on there as well. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.